Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Dr. Stone Chapter 14 and I'm really happy we're getting Senku chapters, like we're finding out how Senku, es you know, escaped from the stone and seeing his side of the story because we've only seen how Taiju escaped. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Look at my baby, he looks so beautiful. Thinking uh, for its own s wait, thinking for its own sake, as in music, and that's the quote from Albert Einstein. And this uh, chapter is called "What You Believe In." This cover is so pretty. You like it? I like it a lot. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Senku's survival. House uh, Kuku, the birth of every boy's dream tree house, and I, I, now I finally collected all the necessities for survival. House acquired. Now then, it's about time. My ignoring all fatigue would be most uh, logical switch is at its limit. Oh, God damn. Oh, poor Senku. Even the monkey's like, ah. ah. God damn it. Just surviving as a lone human is taking every last ounce of energy out of me. Leave alone time for science or... Uh, progress or fuck all if there was one, at least one more person someone with lots of physical strength and stamina and then I realized my goal right uh, near where I came back to life since we were in the same place to begin with we probably drifted down to the same place who else could uh, that beefy uh, male hand belong to so this is how we found Taiju Cuckoo. now there was a face I was so sick of, um, of seeing I never thought I'd want to see it again it's been a good long 3,700 years, hasn't it, you big clumsy oaf? And now it's the time It's time for Senku's investigation lab to begin. Come on, you oaf, what's it going to take to get you to revive like I did? And more importantly, what was the cause for all of humanity suddenly being turned to stone 3,700 years ago? The alien science... T oh my god, we have the theory. <laughs> The alien science attack theory. Earthlings piss me off. Seriously piss me off. Let's uh, turn them all to stone. Our tests on uh, swallows went just fine, so we can... Here we go. Petrification. Bing. <laughs> Some country's military weapon theory. Waha. At last I've invented the stone petrification device. No. Hang on. It's... Crap. It's getting us too. <laughs> the new strain of virus theory. Um... We are the stone petrification virus. We only infect humans and swallows, and we multiply at super speed. Blah. The only thing I know for sure is that um, specifically humans and swallows alone were pinpointed as targets. At, at a glance, this seems like the stuff of straight fantasy, but there has to be some kind of rule of logic behind it. That's how I'm going to fight it, because searching for rules is the essence of science. Coo -coo -coo -coo. To primitive ma um, man, volcanoes and lightnings all must have looked like uh, fantasy, and here before my own primitive self, I'm, wit I'm witnessing unpre unprecedented new signs. Now this excites me. Um, I just think now, how did I break free from my petrification? Didn't simply just degrade degrade over time? If I um, revive from degradation over time, then did the uh, degraded and weathered surface of my body have to repair itself? The petrification turns you to stone, th a ruin through, but when I revived, I broke out of out of it like hatching out an, of, an, of an egg, which means that just the insides return to cellular form. No, it's the other way around. Since only the uh, surface degraded, it wasn't able to return to cellular form, and that's why it became a stone shell. The parts of the, sur of the surface that didn't degrade as much return to cells, and that's why uh, there's gaps in um, the shell puzzle. Which means the key to my revival lies in a different, special kind of external source. The closest, uh, the stone pieces closest to my head fell first, with the pieces further um, laying on top of them. In other words, when I revived, it ha it happened starting from my head first. There must be some kind of key uh, behind that direction. Nitric acid. I'll test on um, the stone hair that didn't fully uh, become um, unpetrified behind my neck. Crackle. Oh, so he used the nitric acid on, uh, on, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> that face is so funny. 
Oh, he built his own research lab, too. Why did the nitric acid only work on me? It didn't even have a millimeter of effect on Taishu, the swallows, or any of the others I tested on. Tested it on, but why? That, that, what's the difference between them and me? Think, even just the hypothesis is fine. Think. Me. That's it. I figured it out. 3,700 years, that whole time, I was still fully conscious. The brain burns about 400 uh, kcals a day. Over 3,700 years, that comes to over 2 trillion joules of energy. Um, where was that energy coming from? E equals mc squared. That is the foundation of science that Einstein led us to. Energy uh, can never be created from nothing. In order to have energy for my brain to function, something from the stone must have been consumed. Which means if I can get rid of that something, then I can undo the petrification. For now, I've got to experiment. It doesn't matter what, uh, what, just keep experimenting. Oh god, he's like, luckily that bird can't feel the fire. I really want to try night, um, night all the standard in industrial corrosive agent. Damn it, but I don't have any alcohols. It's so frustrating. Just believe and keep experimenting, 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 and experimenting, experimenting. And don't forget, no matter how much this petrification seems like a fantasy, um, a scientific, uh, wait, scientific font, um, uh, scientific foundations is, uh, the one thing that will never falter. There's not enough manpower to go around here, so hurry up and eat that nitric acid and wake up already. What the hell's taking you so long, you scruffy, scatterbrained oaf? This is all because your brain doesn't expend enough energy. Besides, I know you want to wake up too. For the past 3,700 years you've wanted it because you're just like me. You can't stand to give up on, on anything. I believe in you. I'll wait as long as it takes. Because I can't do this without you. Come back, Taiju. Come back, Senku. <gasps> Called awake from his memories. <sighs> I'm so happy my baby is alive. He is not dead. I am so freaking happy that he is not dead. Anyway. This means I will continue this manga because Sekou is alive. As long as Sekou is alive, I'm reading this. <laughs> anyway, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Like, what uh, what do you think about the three theories? I'm really leaning towards the alien theory. The alien theory to me makes the most sense because we saw that bright light. Yeah, I know it's weird, right? <laughs> anyway, let me know your thoughts about this chapter in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, um, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. And next week, I'm going to be crying. <laughs> I'm crying and going to be crying tears of joy because my baby is waking up. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, anyway, until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.